Previously on Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, memes of the Patriots. Ooh, a guy with a lance. This should be interesting. New enemy. I wonder if he's the boss. Ah, uh, what? Oh boy. Hello. What? Miss Charles? She's... No. A severe body, if I had to guess. Slightly controlled by an AI. I need my jackpot! And she's down. Holy shit, Jack Mode is fucked up. A boss just... holy crap. What the? Oh, fuck off! That is Fairmon Suit? Well, if it's AI controlled, it should pose no problem for you, yes? We learned that if you're in blade mode, um, and you cut missiles, you get your heals. If you're not, it just cuts them. Wait, life's complete? Oh shit, yeah. After the next mission, I won't have to upgrade it anymore. Good. Good. Um, and then, yeah, we might actually get enough money after this because my life gauge is full. So yeah, I'm gonna have to try to see if I can uh, practice the blade mode because I'm having trouble cutting precisely. Yeah, possibly the other way. I never knew there was another way. Cargo's all set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. Yeah, <laughs> I like semi-auto. More accurate. Okay, so how quick can this thing fly, or what? You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. Shit. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Is the riding gonna jump out or something? Missiles incoming! Flare! Flare, damn it! All of that? Yes, but not strong enough to take out the drone. Here they come! I'll handle this. Raiden! Have a nice flight. <laughs> and people say Germans aren't funny. <laughs> Fucking love that. Well, this is a Mission Impossible movie, and I've never even watched it. There it is. All right, bring the chopper around. How good? Whatever.
I didn't know Michael Bay directed Metal Gear Solid. This is a Michael Bay movie. Of course, that's gonna happen. <laughs> the whole day goes to shit. After all that, <laughs> it still goes to shit. <laughs> After all that bullshittery. <sighs> How does this chopper not have flares? I am sorry, my friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. What? That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are alright. It's time you got out of Denver. No, I'm on Kodak! Mine now. How do I cut in this goddamn mode? Why would we end the stream here? I have some time. It's just pushing back the stream. Why? I have some time now. We should use it. Why would we end the stream when I have time? Raiden, are you alright? I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado too. Yeah, shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal, and what's left of it. Okay, oh, fuck. So... Okay, so it won't move after I set it. After you set it, it won't move. So I just gotta very carefully align it. Alright, we 
I'll get a few of these if I can catch them off guard. Oh, why'd you do- Normal time for people to sleep at? Very well done. Have you been talking to Hutchum? Has she been telling you I don't go to sleep till 2 a.m.? Sleep deprivation is a way of life for YouTubers. Well, at least it is for gamers. Wait. Was I here before? So what do I do with these fuckers? Oh, they come down. No damage, yes, yes. Ooh! Holy fuck, 5,000! Right it, hurry. It may be an RLV, but it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate from first cosmic velocity. It could require more than 30 minutes to get to Pakistan. Who wants to get to Pakistan? Let's <laughs> go. 
the items I missed? No? Good. I'm not trying to fight these guys, I'm trying to kill the bird. the route with relatively light security. I will mark the heading on your solid on radar. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't Please turn don't around. Please don't kill me! Get off! the evacuation. I was... And they killed him. Surprise. Wait, does that upgrade my health and stuff? Was that not mandatory? Damn, I thought that came with every mission. I thought that was like just an upgrade you get after doing a mission. Instead, right. I've been unlocking. I will join you in Pakistan. I will find a way to exit the helicopter. Proceed out of the city. I will contact you when I am on the ground. I am a barrel. Don't notice me, don't notice me, I am barrel. If you save one of the hostages and then attack them before they run away, you can cut off their clothes. Shit! Fuck this! I'm not dealing with this thing. I hate dealing with those things. I don't know why, but jack mode is way too easy to activate.
too OP at this point. Way too OP. Oh god, no, no, no! Boss fight. You have escaped the pursuit? Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. When anyone says that, it's a boss fight. Excuse me? That should do nicely. Let me guess, it's Big Boss's bike. It is, isn't it? It is! What? What? <laughs> I need your bike. Thank you for your cooperation. Did he give his number? Wow. Such a gentleman. Wait, that was a mission? Holy shit. That was a really short mission. Okay, so the life gauge is complete. What about our weapon? I'm guessing that's an upgrade now. Is it? Any upgrade? Yeah, it is. This is basically what we unlocked by getting another arm. Wow. Wow. You guys enjoying this game so far? I'm absolutely loving it. I'm hoping that by the end of the last mission we're going to be able to afford the Fox Blade. I think I may have upgraded my sword to near max because it's 444. I really want this. I really want this blade. Grey Fox's blade. I, I really want this. I don't know what the special effect is, but I really want it. Ah. Oh. Unique weapons? I've... Oh, I'm so, I'm so looking forward to not having to spend all my money on upgrades so I can buy the Fox Blade. Which is kind of counterproductive, considering I'm always upgrading my sword. I should have just done a mission without upgrading. And that is pretty badass. That is sexy. I can definitely see the appeal. If I was driving down the American highways, I'd want to bike okay too. On your side? I am out of Colorado airspace and nothing on the radar. Good. I'm almost there. Why'd you stop? Oh. Wait, is that Wolf? Am I gonna ride you? Wait a minute. Don't you dare. Like having a little heart to heart. I have analyzed his words and actions. I am unable to ascertain his motivation. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me? <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. I'm right. 
And I've got cause enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Don't interfere. <coughs> well, this is very this Ghost of Tsushima. Is between us. He's got a loaded gun katana. And it ends here. Reminds me of Gar Ray Zero. Okay. Let's dance! Woof! I can parry, right? Just you and me. Maybe I misjudged you. Come on. Come on, samurai boy. What the fuck is that? Wow, talk about a waste. Woof. Okay, I need to learn how to block again. I mean, character. Oh my god, was that yellow or red? Okay, that one was definitely red. I don't know if that one was Ridiculous amount, actually. Now we're talking. What Am I blocking too early for the combo? Well. Well? Yeah, I must be blocking the second one too early. Let me try again. Ooh, the last one isn't blockable. Fuck me. That's a trap and a half. I mean, he's definitely having fun with it. He's messing around. He's not taking it seriously. He's loving it. That's why I feel... Practice. <laughs> 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 
Getting out sick, you see. Yeah, he's just always gonna throw him. Fun fight, but I'm out of health. Phase three, let's see what we can learn. And then the next attempt, I'm gonna do it. Woof! That was unblockable. Show me what you really believe in. Come on. I could actually end it if I do this again. Whoops! Oh, I charged. Whoops. Alright, that was a good, a good lesson. If it resets with all my potions, we're good. Oh my god, it does. Fuck yes. Alright, let's have some fun now. Oh, my 
I got him. That one. On, let me reset. God. I keep getting comboed by that one. I hate that one. I gotta learn how to counter that. My starts are always shit. Oh my god, that combo keeps effing me. Now we're talking. Lock this one to the sound. What is it? What is it? I want to move. I must be blocking the wrong direction. Oh, come on. I'm trying to block here. See, that, that follow-up is unblockable. A yellow. Yeah, I'm still too bad for that combo. No, 
not, I gotta count them. Worthless scrap! Alright, phase three. Now we're talking. So phase two, I know how to do it. Phase three's a bitch! Judgment cut? Whoops, there's the wrong button. Why was he playing so much? He wasn't taking that 100%. He was just having fun. Why? Why though? Blinked at the doggo. He definitely likes Virgil's katana. He is dead. He barely had any cyborg enhancements. Really? Was this outcome necessary? Evidence inconclusive. Of course, it's I guess even AIs don't know everything. It is likely no single correct answer exists. Additionally, human conflict stems from opposing ideals and societal norms. I was not programmed with these guidelines. You're better off figuring those out for yourself. ID locked. A VT7 high frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My file indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. Hey, you should clean it before you put it back in the thing. Don't get the blood in the thing. You don't do that. Clean it. Good boy. Oh, that is sexy. And now you go become a Dark Souls boss. Roger, we have less than one hour. Hurry! Roger that. Man, that guy was playing. He... I don't... God damn it. Like, he was really good, but he wasn't going nuts. Must be because I'm playing in normal mode. See, that's what happens when we take it easy. Spend one boss uh, attempt 
to learn his pattern, then we can just beat him. As opposed to, you know, just struggling. Oh my god, we are so close to getting the fox blade. So close. So close. I can almost taste it. I don't think I've unlocked any new armaments, have I? Of course I have! 30,000?! I'm poor! You give me free shit! I want free shit, because I'm poor. Of course I'm going to get more base damage. Base damage OP, guys. I can't afford it! <laughs> Fuck. That is a sexy katana. Alright, here we go. We're going to get some Hollywood stuff here. Just a guard eating his pizza with no cybernetic enhancements whatsoever. What the fuck? <laughs> He's reading manga! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what what are, are you- you, uh... Mr. Raiden, sir? <laughs> oh my god! Oh. How did this guy get a job? Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here! What? What is that noise? <laughs> oh no. It's going down the anime route. No! Hi there, stranger. Wait, hey. is that- You're looking- Sunny? Aw, who's your little friend? Oh, fuck off. She's all grown up. It's a long story. Sort of. Shake? <laughs> Good boy. Oh, this is so wholesome. <sighs> oh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry. Not really. It's okay. Follow me. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. That just ties it back to MGS. I mean, this whole game didn't really feel like MGS with all the cutting. This so just exactly makes it feel good. Of... You'll see. This just makes it so good. She's outdoors doing stuff, you and this corridor reminds that? me of MGS One. Yep. You what? So this is what she does in her spare time. Lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> Aww. This makes the game so good, and that corridor behind Raiden reminds me of MGS1. Damn communications tower. This is so nice. This is nice. This is nice. Is already set. You're this good is to nice. Go. Oh my god, this Please is vibrating. Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no smoking flight. So, where's Otacon? <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. What? Ignition! Slav as fuck! Not time for that, Suka! Ignition! Go, 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 go! <laughs> God damn it. Seriously? I just got. How do you. What the fuck? 
You're shitting me. You're shitting me. Why do the graphics in this scene seem better than the previous? At the right place? Gotta be. It's the only base big enough with security contracted out to World Marshal. All right. I'm headed in. These guys have a shitty security system. Hey, Sonny. Fine, thanks. Though I wouldn't call it the smoothest ride ever. She's in love. You sure that thing's really airworthy? Well, well, what do you expect? You're traveling at a few dozen times the speed of sound. I mean, she operates well within all the projected margins of safety, so yes. We'll have to work on the turbulence levels a bit before we can take tourists on it. But come on, you really can't complain. So it's meant mainly for cargo at the moment? Mm-hmm. We got a contract with COTS, NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services. Mostly handling space deliveries, that kind of thing. We also joined the C-3PO, <laughs> the Commercial Crew and Cargo Program Office's <laughs> Passenger Transport Program. I like what you so did there. Soon we'll have I like what you did there. spacecraft that. bringing crew to the International Space Station. I like what they did there. Wild times we're living in. Well, the space race has been over for decades now. It's no longer something countries engage in for vanity's sake. Still, lots of people are starting to see the industrial value of zero-gravity experiments. Plus, the costs are getting lower and lower with each passing year, to the point where we'll have a serious space tourism industry before long. Yeah, I heard about the space hotel the Russians opened up. But we're still not going any further than orbit, right? Well, one company's planning to have a lunar landing craft complete by 2020. Not ours, though. I'm just hoping we can get to Jupiter while Hal's still alive. Jupiter, huh? Wow, that's pretty far. Oh, hey, how did Earth look from up there? I can't even put it into words. I know I was still under the Carmen line, but it looked exactly like every satellite photo of Earth I've ever seen. No borders, no nothing, just a whole lot of blue. Hopefully next time around I can take that's my an time MGS3 and enjoy reference. it. Yeah. But first things first, you know? Yep. Well, good luck, Jack. Raiden. You designed that thing too, Sonny? Uh-uh. Nobody designed her. Nobody? Yep. She pretty much evolved by herself. Uh, I think I may be missing something here. We used a genetic algorithm to make it. Ever hear of that? They use it to build the cars for bullet trains and stuff. Basically, we start by creating a few different models of aircraft. The data for each design is treated as the genes for a new aircraft. They all get crossbred with each other in virtual space. Eventually, you come up with offspring that exhibit genes from each original design. Offspring? You know, children. Each child then competes with the others for survival in the virtual space. The kids that have the best aerodynamic traits survive and pass on their genes, creating the next generation of aircraft. You get this sort of gene-based evolution across generations, like animals in real life. I'm having a hard time imagining aircraft having kids like that. Anyway, what's with the two wings on the top and the bottom? Oh yeah, the swept wings? They're set up so that the sonic booms they create wind up bashing against each other, cutting down on shockwaves. The idea has been hard to implement due to issues with elevation and wingtip treatment. But thanks to the genetic algorithm, the RLV worked out all the problems herself. Herself, huh? <laughs> Makes it sound like you're more breeder than designer. Oh, I forgot I left the um, Google open. I don't want it to cause any lag, so I'm closing it. So this game is set in 2020. Meanwhile, on Earth, 2020 is shit. So what happened with the RLV after it dropped me off? Running on autopilot. She'll circumnavigate the Earth and head back. Wow. 
A trip around the world. What huh? the fuck? That's the sort of distance you need to reach orbital velocity. She had to lower her altitude pretty drastically to drop the landing craft. So getting back up for her was a pretty rough trip. Rough? How? In terms of damage to the craft, I mean. Running in ramjet mode helps conserve fuel a lot, so she's good there, but yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, no, no. All in the name of peace, right? Besides, it made for a good load experiment. I'm kind of surprised it actually worked, actually. What? Oh, <laughs> so I'm Russian. Kidding. Don't be so serious. <laughs> so this will work, right? Da, 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 da. Probably. What do you mean, probably? We've never tested it. So, you've never tested it. Well, we have one time. Really? How did it go? Eh, I'll tell you in about five minutes. So what kind of engine is this lace thing? It's short for liquid air cycle engine. A lace uses liquid hydrogen to chill and liquefy the oxygen in the air. The reaction between the liquefied hydrogen and oxygen creates propulsion. On this RLV, the lace is combined with ramjets for maximum efficiency. Once the solid rocket boosters lift her off and bring her to Mach 3, she switches to ramjet propulsion mode. In the meantime, she's taking in and liquefying oxygen from the air. Once there's enough, the lace is ignited. If it wasn't for that hybrid engine, it would have been pretty rough for an RLV to pull that trick that it did. You know, lowering its elevation just long enough to drop a landing craft. Well, I'm impressed. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be on your side of the world. <laughs> and I wouldn't even be here if not for you. Aww. Don't forget that, okay? A lot of people appreciate what you've done for them. I'll try not to. Oh yeah, he saved Sonny from a Patriot um, facility. So what kind of engine is this lace thing? It's short for liquid air cycle engine. A lace uses liquid hydrogen to chill and liquefy the oxygen in the air. Chill, eh? The reaction between the liquefied hydrogen and oxygen creates propulsion. On this RLV, the lace is combined with ramjets for maximum efficiency. Once the solid rocket boosters lift her off and bring her to Mach 3, she switches to ramjet propulsion mode. In the meantime, she's taking in and liquefying oxygen from the air. Once there's enough, the lace is ignited. If it wasn't for that hybrid engine, it would have been pretty rough for an RLV to pull. Well, I'm in. <laughs> Don't. I'll try. Well, we already did that. So what kind of engine? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't forget that. I'll try. So what kind of engine? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. So what kind of? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. So what kind of? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. So what kind of? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. So what kind of? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. So what kind of? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't forget that, okay? I'll try. So what kind of? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. So what kind of? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. So what kind of? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. So what kind? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. So what kind of? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. So what kind of engine is this lace thing? It's short. A lace on this once in the if it was. Well, <laughs> Don't. I'll try. Hey Wolf, what did you and Sam talk about before we fought? Nothing of note. He was not one to reveal himself to others. All right. You don't have to tell me. Raiden, I do not feel good about this. Do not allow yourself to be caught off guard. Duly noted. So, you were under Mistral's command all this time? I originally took orders from Sundowner, but not for long. As a novelty, I did not last. Mistral saw more potential in me. What'd she see? Unknown. However, she apparently enjoys the company of dogs. She demanded 100% obedience. As long as it was given, she treated me well. She was looking for companionship? That I cannot say. I still have relatively little communication experience with humans. My ability to read emotions not explicitly expressed by speech <coughs> is lacking. Wow. So you said it took three years to learn how to speak, right? Given enough time, could any AI be taught that too? I cannot assert that. A neural AI is only capable of learning new things 
not growing and replenishing its own cells. Thus, each neuro AI is equipped with a predetermined capacity that cannot be altered. My AI contains 90 billion neurons, more than a human being. A normal LQ84 model possesses only 1.6 billion. That's a big difference. Relatively, yes. I doubt any amount of learning period would enable an LQ84 to speak. It would be similar to attempting to teach a dog how to converse. Hey, Chicky's pretty smart. A combination of appropriate instruction and an ample neuron count are required to accomplish the feat. So if someone else made a neuro AI with the same capacity or more... Other AIs as conversant as I are a possibility. Yes, robotic pets with neuro AIs are already on the market. And I understand research and development are underway to create a model capable of conversation. Do not be surprised if such a pet becomes available before too long. Hmm. If that becomes commonplace, hard to imagine. Is it? The human race has willingly embraced all of its other inventions so far. Steam engines, electricity, the internet, cyborgs. Perhaps the day will come when conversing with AIs, too, is considered perfectly normal. Maybe. As normal as being a cyborg is now, at least. The most significant challenge would be in crafting the appropriate training regimen. The only way to establish an effective learning system is through sheer trial and error. And it will take even more time to virtualize and optimize that system for mass production. One could say my own existence is due in no small part to simple luck. Of course, I was a failure as a weapon as well. Failure or not, you're better off than an AI that knows nothing but how to fight. I am pleased to hear you say that. So what kind of engine? It's short a on the one in the if it well, I <laughs> don't I'll Can you tell me more about the learning program you mentioned before? Like how'd you learn to speak? Through an extensive battery of conversations with the researchers who doubled as my instructors. To acquire literacy, I was provided a steady stream of website text and ebooks. I understand it was largely similar to the process through which a human child learns language. Huh. You're pretty well spoken for a three-year-old. For the first year, I was effectively an infant. Rapid progress occurred only after I received text reading capability. With digital data, there is no need to read text one letter at a time. I am capable of processing plain text at a speed of 60 megabytes per minute. And that's pretty fast? Yes. It is not simply a matter of text search. Advanced cognitive reasoning is required to truly understand the intent behind the words. What did you talk with your teachers about? Miscellaneous matters, breakfast table greetings, the structure of elementary particles, the challenges resulting from rapid globalization, recent trends in popular music. However, as DARPA-funded military research, I was rarely treated as anything more than equipment. Makes sense. You were made to be a weapon. On the other hand, some of them treated me like a pet or as a child. Just as a parent passes on their memes to a child, so I was exposed to numerous influences. Memes I encountered on the web and through ebooks had their effects as well. As my mind grew, the weaker memes were sifted out, and the stronger ones endured. The resulting collection of memes is what you would call my intelligence. Oh, fuck! Same as any of us, huh? In a way, yes. However, I lack the instinctual skills your genes grant you. I am a slave to my memes. <laughs> Thus, as my intelligence matured, I began to have doubts about my role as a weapon. And that's what ended the project. What about the researchers that Someone raised you? Someone clicked that. I am a slave Unknown, to my memes. Most likely transferred to other projects. Ever feel like you want to see him again? Hmm. Sometimes, yes. But one cannot remain a student forever. There comes a time one must become an individual. One must find their own place in this world. Someone clip that right now. I am a slave to my memes. Oh my god. Parents pass on their memes to their children. That is fucked. I don't want my kids touching my memes. And my memes! <laughs> my grandpapa's memes about World War II and Panzer tanks.
name an element of culture or system of behavior that may be considered to be passed from one individual to another by non-genetic means, especially in mutation. So what kind of engine is this? Lip? It's short a lip on the one in the if it well, I <laughs> don't I'll Hey Wolf, know anyone named Kubayama? Kubayama? No. Perhaps I have heard it before, but Huh. Well, no big deal. Just thought it might ring a bell. I apologize that I am unable to help. Nah, forget it. Unless I am mistaken, Yama is Japanese for mountain. Huh? Does that help? No. The Colonel told me he met Gubayama once. Probably someone's name. A significant number of sumo wrestlers use the term Yama as part of their ring name. Perhaps this Gubayama is in the sumo business? Makes sense, sure. I just wish there was some way of knowing what that AI was trying to tell me. Don't suppose you know where Shibomniji is either, huh? No, Raiden. I don't. AI leaves a lot to be, uh... Someone there? Dead off. Hey, I got two! I got an arm. Uh, let's try now. So what kind of end? Don't. So what kind? It's short. A lit on this one in the middle. Well, <laughs> don't. Ouch. So what kind? It's short. A lit on this one in the middle. Well, <laughs> don't. Ouch. So what time? It's short a lit on the one in the if it well, <laughs> don't I'll ch So what time? It's short a lit on the one in the if it well, <laughs> don't I'll ch So what kind of It's short a lit on the one in the if it well, <laughs> don't I'll ch I want to die You see that? Their exit codes show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for the space. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal exit code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with... The Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the desperado Marshall connection... Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Huh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone, and I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. Wind of destruction? Is that, uh, this team? I don't think there's any more items. Wait, this thing works like a sonar. I use the door. 
Why do I get in? Oh, that doesn't work. What the app? Raiden, there is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. No, memes. I need the foot. Oh shit. Shit! I am Beryl! I am Beryl! I am just a Beryl! I'm a normal Beryl! An everyday Beryl! That I keep up my ass! It is portable Beryl! Fuck! I will not be a defeated by Suka. Why is he using a fucking rocket launcher here? Barrel is more sus than a cardboard box. Give me that arm! Getting ridiculous. Why do they even give me a barrel if it doesn't work? What is the point of the barrel? My riding mode. Well, I can't end this guy. I need my. That doesn't work. And of course. Ok, 
Okay, so I can't use these guys to get my thing up so I can cut them off. GG. Is there something up here that I can do? Like if you need these guys are slow as shit. Not you! I need your essence! the electrolyte pack. What the fuck? Well, that just happened. Did you know if you type in front of an embarrassing secret? What? Also, did you know if you type in your most embarrassing secret, it just gets exited out? See? Oh. Oh. I see. I see. I know that one. They used to do that one with credit card numbers. People actually fell for it. I was shocked that they actually went out of their way to open their wallet to get the credit card number. still damn full sunny again i don't know i hope it works i'm gonna go nuts if it doesn't sunny i've lost contact with oh thank Wolf. god you really oh i hope he didn't run off because he didn't want to live with me i don't think it's that i've got some things to take care of first but i'll look for him when i have some time all right thanks raiden 
Sonny. I've lost contact. Oh, you. God! Sonny. You. I don't. I've got. Sonny. You. I don't. I've got. Sonny. I. You. I don't. I've got. I didn't even know I lost contact. I'm gonna get ambushed, aren't I? Please don't make me kill my dog. I like my dog. It's so good. It's so cute. A box! <laughs> nice hiding spot. Wonder where he learned that from. Seriously? 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 Now that is an Easter egg. I love it. Oh my god, this looks like a boss. My dog! Why aren't you running? What the f <gasps> Really? A scorpion metal gear? Is this a metal gear or a soy? Wait, is that a spider? Why does that even come out? Wait, is someone piloting that? Well, if it isn't Saucy Jack. Just a little too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. <laughs> Raiden, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. Ah, shit. How did they? The story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just the spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. <laughs> they oh, left us their great isms. Nationalism, unilateralism, materialism. Communism? Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit! 
The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? DMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message. Yeah, this does feel like CNN. My wolf's okay. I wonder if I can bluff. So Metal Gear. Exit Souls? What? Nothing! What is BS?
Yay, pinatas! This guy's just gonna shoot at me anyway. Man, this is American wastage on crack. This sums up the last eight years of the presidency. Firing fucking $80,000 javelins by soldiers getting paid $40,000 a year at tenths worth $10. America, am I right? How is this thing gonna work if it's lost two of its legs already? If it's on the same side, it's basically fucked. What is he gonna do? Lift the whole thing up? Oh, F off! What the f This is more fake than WWE! Americans actually think is happening.
This is what Americans actually believe happens in a war zone. Giant mechas are fighting cyborgs. Guys, what the fuck? What's next? Are these fucks gonna punch each other to death now? <laughs> Slippery little bastard! I don't have time for this. Wow, he's a sumo wrestler. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah, I know, right? What? What? This is probably why I never played the game. This is ridiculous. Now he's a hentai monster. What, he's absorbed all the electricity and got buff? Yeah, sure, that's how it works. Look at that little tie. Let's go! The hell are you thinking? <laughs> Played college ball, you know. That's a cushy Ivy League school. Oof. Yeah, he blocks the sword that literally cut up a metal gear. Try University of Texas. Could have gone pro if I hadn't joined the Navy. I'm not one of those beltway pansies. I could break the president in two with my bare hands. Don't fuck with this, Senator. What? What the hell are you? <laughs> Why don't you stick around and find out? I could crush you with just one fist. No, he's a hugger! I need to go to the gym after this. No! No, no, no! No! What the? What? Nice, nice! Oh, F off! Stop punching Kibo! Gonta, calm down! Be gentlemen! Typical politician! Big promises, but all talk. What? Jumpstart the economy! What a load of bullshit! All you care about is lining your own pockets. Oh my God! Who taught you to fight? Was it Snake? No principles. Just like all the rest. If America's gone to shit, you're just another maggot crawling in the pile. <laughs> All right, the truth then. You're right about one thing. I do need capital and votes. Want to know why? You want to be president? I have a dream. What? That one day, 
Every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it! A nation of action, not words, ruled by strength, not committee! Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around! Where power and justice are back where they belong! In the hands of the people! Oof. Where every man is free to think, to act for himself. Fuck all these lunatic lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats. Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit. I mean, I don't disagree with what he's saying, I just don't like his methods. Fuck American pride. Fuck the media. Fuck all of it! He's like Leonidas 2.0. Rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. <coughs> Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! Okay, now you're just sounding like Hillary. <coughs> and from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! Oof. The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. How are those make pants America not breaking? Great again! Are you shitting me? What the hell are you talking about? Are you kidding me? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected. Oh my god, he's Trump. So I can end. War is a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe. Not for money, not for oil, not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars. Oof. Oof, that would fucking hurt. How did his pants not break? Jesus Christ. I tear my pants ten times with quads like those. Quadosaurus Rex! So, what do you think? Uh, how the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well... I don't write my own speeches. But Jim understands the American dream. What you believe in, sometime, Jack? Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Damn. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. He's gonna throw. I was wrong. You're not greedy. You're batshit insane. <laughs> Here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the weak, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours. He's going full Batman. Except cool. Oh! 
Why is he back on a hundred? No! You can't wear blackface, it's 2020! You'll offend the white people! Nani? Oh, you are kidding me! <laughs> Have you tried hitting him in the neck? Ooh, the double punch. Is he gonna do a V for Vendetta? Oh god, he's stripping. The fuck is that? Nano machine, son. They hide in response to physical trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack. <laughs> what did I just say? Time to end this. Oh no, don't do that. That's I really need to go to the gym. Die, you piece of shit! I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. All right. I think we're about done here. How are those pants still in one piece? What are they made of? Right. Guy's a pain in my ass. Can you cut the nanos? So, you think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. 
When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now, created my own directives. You little fuck. No, not my Wolfie! in my first ultimate. Fuck blocking that. You did a double. What the fuck? Yes! I need a heal! Gimme! Right. What's wrong? 
<laughs> Fuck off! Why? Because I didn't have any energy? Oh, F you. Present. Fucking asshole. These chains are painful. Fuck off! This fight is legitimately hard. The timing is fucked. Can I counter this? I can't counter that one though. I'm gonna learn in this attempt. Nah, you can't counter that one. Okay, so you can counter the charge, but you can't counter the fire. Gotcha. You can't dodge fire, but you can dodge it with attack. Yeah, you can't, you can't block that one. The fire is fucked. Oh no, can't block this one. Okay, he just... Now he's gonna do a charge. Fuck! Son. Ah, oh, fuck, no. I have no blue. Fuck. I can't cut it. Oh, fuck off! So if you have no blue, you're basically fucked here. What? Dragon? No! So what, I'm not allowed to use my red in phase one. I need it for this one. Oh my god, that is painful. Let's learn. Yeah, 
die. If I do that, he throws me, so let's not do that at all. Great, my best ability gone. He's a hugger for dodging. Oh, I thought. Oh. How am I gonna do phase one without draft mode? Reset it so I get enough blue for the next attack. So use ritual mode straight away, then recharges, then cut things, and then back. Oof. Wow, we got fucked on that one. Or not. That wasn't so bad. And now we get... What is that range? Okay, Ripper mode first, cut him, regenerate the blue, get to phase two, push him, he'll throw you, he'll throw stones, you need blue otherwise you can't cut them, cut them and then let's see what happens. Oh my god, learning progression.
bro. the dodge during the run, you gotta stop. Okay, live and learn. That was supposed to be the quick time. Oh god, wrong button.
Here we go. Well, how do I lift her? Come on, heal. Give me a goddamn heal. I need a goddamn heal. There they are. Oh my god, that is nice. That fucking blue.
And you need enough blues for two counters when he heals. What? Throw boulders, you punk! Heal! 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 What now? Oh, come on. I don't have a blue. Oh my god! Now, through, through, through! Through! Fucking cut him through! Oh, fucking progression. Well done, Jack. Your dream dies with you. Oh, maybe not. You've guaranteed the status quo will go on. For a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution, as an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. <coughs> but at least I'll leave a worthy successor. Jack, you carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. So much tougher than the other boss. Okay, where's my dog? Where's Wolf? Oh, 
Oh my god! We need a three minute break after that. That was two hours in one push. Oh god, three minute break. He was tougher than the other bosses and his range was bullshit and his timing was bullshit and the map is bullshit. Now imagine going through the whole game for S ranks. Yeah, good luck doing that in the final boss. Oh my god. Alright, three minute break and we're gonna push onwards. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, oh fuck. High frequency Murasama blade. Infinite wig. What? 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 Special oh. pet right for your family? But first, our top story. President Hamilton returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated. Unbelievable. They love pizza. After all that. For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden. Hmm? There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. Mm -hmm. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? So all the pre uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? Eh? Oof. <laughs> Oof. Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? Eh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. That's... Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets or to broken homes. Aren't they just a brain? At least we can give them a chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. ah? <No. laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> GG. Oops. Uh, an imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit a peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kid. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. The dog? Quite well. Where's my dog? Where's my dog? That's Oi, not a dog. Sunny! That's Joy. Hang on. Where's my dog? One second. There he is! Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Oh, he's got a prosthetic arm. Mm. You the same age as me? But all this spaceship, you're genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Well, she does have a thing for. Where did that come from? <laughs> Woof! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alert! Alert! Resend it. <laughs> 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 Sunny seems to have a thing from boys from third world countries. Me never think I've been this kind of life. Yeah. Wait, huh? aren't you kids eleven? He rescued me too, you know. Saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know 
all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know... ...is a hero. So, if the dog made it, Raiden made it. So wh what's he up to now? I love how the sword is practically a New Game Plus item. And it works the same way as his original Frequency Blade. I dare you to call Hachan hot for days. Hachan prefers cute. That is a sexy sword. Oh. Looking down on the cars on the highway the stream of taillights Everybody is dancing together To so willingly sacrifice rights When people accept their cogs in the system Looking down on the burgeoning city The skyscrapers rise Even men with the greatest intentions Stop believing their own lives I swear this game was just a testing ground for Nier Automata It's so slick And you can see the development thing has a thing for asses. Gonna have to download this entire soundtrack. Good shit. Supervising director Hideo Kojima, what's going on here? Wait, it says Kojima Productions everywhere. Does this mean Rising was ma not made by Konami? Because Kojima Productions is separate from Konami. So Konami owns the IP to Metal Gear. Yeah, Konami. Fuck, so this was made in collaboration. This is interesting. I had a load of fun. It's just fun to hack and slash for a while, and not take it too seriously. I only had to take it seriously during the boss fights, and that's it. So Kojima helped in the story, 
but Konami was just basically running this. Huh. Well, Platinum Games definitely has a, a good rep. Rising, near Automata, good shit. Good shit. Good shit. How much you want to bet the new sword has an unlockable unique skill? Probably. I I'm curious to know what the unique skill for uh, Grey Fox's sword is. Because that thing is just insane. But with Jack the Ripper mode, like, it's insane as it is. The game just becomes super easy once you get Jack the Ripper mode. Before that, you need to pay attention to your enemy. After that, you don't even need to worry about it. I have the DMC reboot, but I never played it. I don't feel like playing it. Why would I play it? I don't know whose bloody idea that was. The game never needed a reboot. They just needed Devil May Cry 5. Square Enix is involved too. Fucking everyone's involved in this. Who isn't involved? I saw Atlas, Square Enix, Konami, Kojima Productions, Platinum Games. Who isn't involved? Is Capcom involved? Who isn't involved? Nintendo. Ah! I like how the uh, text has the blue surrounding it, like the particles. It's very uh, MGS5. I like that style. Konami Digital Infinite, of course, they love to put their names on it. Konami, Konami. Where's the Hideo Kojima? It used to be Hideo Kojima. Oh yeah, Hachan's like, it's not Hideo, it's Hideo. Shut up, Hachan. And how's business? Oh, good, good. The hair doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear world marshals looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> Uh, the bread-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Uh, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So... Your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? <laughs> oh god. I've got my own war to fight. Fun fact, Platinum's always loved butts ever since they were Clover Studios. I saw the snake reference. It was uh, the cardboard box in the final mission. I found it. It's pretty funny. Ooh, see. Passing rank. Complete normal or high difficulty in less than 8 hours. What? Mr. 1%. Complete normal or high difficulty while earning more than 300,000. Cool. Samurai. Complete normal or difficulty while using the high frequency blade as a weapon. Yes. Ninja. Complete normal difficulty while killing at least 50 enemies via ninja skill. Uh-huh. Battle tester. Complete. Despite being discovered by enemies 50 or more times. Fuck you. And Jack the Ripper, cut your enemies at least a thousand times. Okay. Longest combo 85, 257 normal kills. What do we have? Remaining enemies 13. Hey! I didn't kill 13 enemies? Where did that happen? 
Um, beheading's 12. Left arm, right arm. Oh my god. Two thousand thirteen, so was this made after MGS five? Codex. Maybe they have it in here. Here Doctor. Oh what? Well the number's not really gonna help you because you don't know which one's which. That's just titles. It was before? Okay. Well, ugh. can't really test out the sword. I want to test it out really quickly. Wait, what? What's this? New game Jetstream, new game Blade Wolf. What does that mean? Phantom Pain came out in 2015, I think. Brown, designed for cyborg use, but suitable for anyone suffering from hair loss. It grants infinite ammunition for all sub weapons. What? It's free DLC, but what does it involve? Oh my god, I got... I tore his blade, passed down through the generations of the Rodriguez family. Sam had it modified with the high-frequency blade, enhancing the already astonishing properties of the original metal and giving it a uh, ominous crimson glow. An explosive charged house in the scabbard enables a lightning quick draw. Well, that's not expensive. You play Sam and the Wolf. Is it the same missions? Oh my god, you have to buy all the shit again. No. 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 It's not the same missions? What? That's insane! Let me check it real quick. I want to check it real quick. Now, right. Bring it down. What do you think I've been trying to do? Stop that plane. How the fuck? Wait, wait, wide open! 